Well, there you are. Hello. You waited three and a half hours outside the middle of the <laughs> hotel in Manchester. <laughs> no. If I'd have knew I'd have come out, I'd have come out and seen it. Yeah. By the way, they're wicked colours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. MBE. <laughs> <laughs> My separate skin print, yeah. Yeah. MBE, eh? Since last we met. That's yeah, cool. you know, I was, I was absolutely delighted with the MBE. Um, my parents was, and you know, it's a privilege, it was an honour. Your um, mum and dad would be very proud. Very, very proud. Um, I love my parents dearly, you know, uh, I've given the biggest amount of respect for bringing me up the way they have. Um, and the whole of my family, you know, my brothers and sisters were a very, very close and stable family. It's, it's interesting, isn't it, when you think about it? It's a remarkable story. I mean, your dad came with nothing from the Yemen to, to Sheffield and, and went to work in the steelworks and then your mum came over and then nine mm -hmm. children and a shop and all that and, mm -hmm. it, and it's, it's a, a plain of remarkable people. It worked pretty fast me dad I must say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean my, my dad came over on his own and not a word of English and you know communicated and, and worked in the steel industry and did really really well. That's why I give my dad so much credit you know mm -hmm. uh, for coming thousands and thousands of miles and communicating and working and uh, and then my mum, I've got to give her all the credit in the world. Obviously, uh, I love her dearly, but she's, she's brought up nine of us, and she's carried nine of us, you know. Uh, and she must be so, so strong, because, I mean, I'm, I'm married, and I've got a beautiful son myself, and I've seen my beautiful son born. And to see my pet, the pain my wife went through, and then I'm just thinking about my mum for a split second, nine of us, you know. So, <laughs> um, you know, fed us, fed us all, closed us. Closed as uh, raises. I'm, I must give her all the credit in the world. I love you, Mum. If you're watching. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the nice thing, though, the nice thing about being brought up in a family like that is that you are able to show your appreciation, aren't you? Now, I mean, you're a rich lad now. You can well, afford to give. Definitely. Them... I mean, the first, my first object was with my family. As uh, soon as I, I made it or made enough money, was to secure my family. And that's the first thing that I did. I bought my parents a nice big house, uh, you know, helped my brothers and sisters, and they all helped me. They all, we all work together. Uh, they all work for me. And um, my parents are really, really happy in the whole of the family is, and I made sure that I, could, I just wanted to help them, and that was um, my first objective, you know. But you bought your mum a car. My mum can't drive, but... You <laughs> <laughs> bought her a car. My dad got a nice Merc, so she wanted a nice Merc. So I said, listen, you can have one. I'm cool with it, and put my sister on the payroll to drive her about, so... Now you've got you've got this now. <laughs> what you've done now? <laughs> it's this. It's now. It's, it's the, the the Hamad family now is organised as one corporate whole, aren't they? Because the uh, other people who were running your life before that, uh, Brendan and, and and Frank Warren, they've gone now, mm -hmm. and you're being looked after by your brothers and the rest of your family. Mm -hmm. um, does that make you feel more secure? Definitely. I know exactly what's coming in and what's going out, and obviously my. My family, the blood, and I know, I know I can trust them down to the ground with, with everything, the whole of my life. Uh, and for once in my life, I can control my own destiny, what I want to do and yes. what I want to achieve, and to fight whoever I want to fight, uh, you know, to, to win the world titles that I want to win. You, uh, and that's felt, the best thing about it. You felt then that you were being manipulated and exploited, in a sense? Definitely, I did, yeah. Because that's, that's the, the problem. I mean, boxing is not a dirty game as far as a boxer is concerned. It's a dirty game as far as the, the people surrounding boxers are concerned. I mean, your great hero, I mean, Muhammad Ali, of course, was, was one of the guys you could say now, was, he was exploited in, uh, in a big way. I, I definitely think he was exploited, you know, uh, in what a great man he was, a great champion, uh, an ambassador for whole sport, not just boxing. Now, you, you talked to Ali, didn't you, recently? <laughs> I spoke to Muhammad Ali, it was an unbelievable experience. I mean, I couldn't wait to meet him and couldn't wait to speak to him, actually. I spoke to him on the phone and uh, I could actually hear exactly what he was saying. Uh, most of the time, but um, he still, I, I, I remember saying to him on the phone that I couldn't wait, I can't wait, I couldn't wait to meet you and I've, like, I've been dying, that's what I said to him, I've been dying to meet you. And I remember the first word, he's so fast, he's still so fast, I remember him saying, don't die. <laughs> so, yeah. um, Did he think so, it was me he was talking to? <laughs> I'll have to point him through to you, I mean, I'm not... <laughs> Because the sadness about Ali, of course, I mean, is that I mean, for any boxer like yourself, you have to look at him and see him as a warning, don't you? I mean, if it can happen to Ali, it can happen to anybody. I would say, you know, if it, whatever written for a man is written, you know. That's you what believe, I believe that it's fate, that? Look. Definitely, you know. I, I, I think when I look at it um, in a certain way that um, I put to myself when I was younger, 
I think he was that extraordinary as a man. I think God just wanted to show everybody that he was human, you know. Um, but, you know, I just feel so I just feel, I just feel so sorry for the man, but it's so fortunate. But still, he's a living legend, and oh, he's, he's my idol, and, you know. I, I, I loved him, too. I mean, I think he was amazing, but I just feel very sad when I see him. And, and I mean, what you just said is a wonderful way of avoiding the issue of, of you know, the damage boxing can do to, to mm. a person, I mean, which you must be aware of. Well, you know, I, I know all the risks in boxing. I think all the professionals do. And in saying that, the, the medical supervision that we've got now is, is, is really, really good. It's excellent. But do you ever consider getting hurt? Do you ever think it's possible? I, I don't think about the negative side of boxing. I just think about being victorious and, what can I say, just doing the business but, I mean, and winning. And but, when, when did you first have this in you? I mean, when did you know that you were going to be a champion, that, that, that you were going to be a good boxer or a great boxer? I, I suppose from the age of uh, 12. I thought, 12. you know, I was winning national titles and uh, I was boxing for the country and I thought, uh, you know, I can do something, I can do something in this game and I, and I want to turn professional. You know, I started at the age of seven, so I come to 12, I'd been boxing quite a few years. And do you, do, do you love it? I mean, does it really, so, is it like a drug with you when you walk out there and the, I, the music playing? And oh yeah, it's, it's the biggest buzz and it's the best, one of the best feelings you can ever get. I can't compare it with a feeling in life, you know. Uh, apart from being my wife in my bedroom, but obviously that's <laughs> um, totally different, you know what I mean? Um, well, the, the, the obvious question is, is it basic? <laughs> that's what we that's But it, it's an unbelievable feeling, yeah, and I, and I just get such a buzz, and I get a buzz out of giving the crowd a buzz, my, you know, uh, and such a, um, <laughs> what can I say, um, just giving such a buzz, you know what I mean? A, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling. I just want to be up there and I want to fight and I want to, I want to win. I want to, want to make people proud, my family, you know, uh, you, you, the whole of Britain. I'm carrying the flag and the whole of the Arab world. You've got this, what, what, that's interesting that you said that. I mean, what are you? You're, you're British and, and an Arab and, and a Yorkshireman? I definitely am. I'm, it's good to be interviewed by a Yorkshireman, you know. <laughs> It's good to be here and, uh, you know, you taking over is what you, how you've done being so successful. I give you all the credit in the world. And, Thank you, what can I say? Yeah. All right, so now, now what you've got now, it seems to me, you've got the family around, you've got the people around you, okay, and you've, got, you've established yourself, you're a world, you're a world champion, mm -hmm. and you've now got this next phase now, haven't you? You've got very important things to do. You've got to go actually win over America, haven't you? You've got to do that. Definitely. That's the next Definitely. thing. The next, I just want to go over and prove to them, Yanks, that they aren't the best fighters in the world. <laughs> I want to prove to them that I'm going to be whooping them and I'm going to be beating them, just like they came over and beat us. <laughs> And I, and I know I'm going to conquer. It's going to take me some time, and time will tell, but I know I'm going to conquer. And I'm gonna, I know I'm going to go out there and beat the best fighters. So. And, and how long do you, do you give yourself? Have you set yourself a time limit on this, or what? Um, I would say around about three, four years. Uh, I'd have got the ultimate respect by the Americans. Trust me. Three or four years. <laughs> <laughs> three or four years. I'm what what do you think? Um, Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you think, what do you think, Tyson? Mike Tyson. Um, I just think the man is, is, is very, very confused. I think he's very confused and I think that... Um, I, don't, I can't justify anything that he's doing or anything that he's done, but um, a great fighter he is, but, and then oh, all the stuff he does out, outside the ring is, you know, I, I can't... No, I'm talking about the stuff in the ring of the year and that. Fighting, biting somebody's yeah. ear off. Uh, again, I think that fight, it, it came along and... Um, I think he was thinking the referee wasn't giving him enough attention when Evander was putting him. <laughs> so he sure got it. So his I ear think off, he just, yeah. yeah, he just. I think he just went mad and took the fight into his own hands and bit his ear off. Mm. <laughs> do you like boxing, Caroline? Do, do you like? I, I, I love what you do, but I actually love the stuff you do before you get in the ring. You know all the twirling about. Well, that, that's, that's, that's the thing with me. I just want to. I, I, I want to entertain. That for the whole time. <laughs> I'll, no, just, I do I'll do all of that then. I'll just. Do. I, do, I, get, I, do, I do love watching boxing, yeah. It's not, something brilliant about it, isn't there? I mean, I do think it's quite a rough sport. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about, about ladies' boxing? Because there's actually the news this week that Muhammad Ali's daughter's going to fight the ring. Do you see that? Yeah, I hadn't heard about yeah, that. Yeah, I know, know, she, I she was a singer. No, no, this is about whichever doctor, <laughs> a daughter it might be. But yeah. one of them is certainly going to become a prize fighter. You ever fancy I was going to ask Caroline what... I don't like, like to fight, well, I don't fight myself. Yeah. I don't. You might be good, you want to try it out. 
<laughs> You're a bit too good for me, for it to see. Not really, honestly, no. And I meant just training, just because yeah. it's a good, it's a good way to keep yourselves fit, say the shoes. Well, that's that's right. I mean, I mean, you, you're you're fitter than any of us could ever imagine to be. I said. Well, I like to be fit, and I like to stay fit, and I just make sure that I'm mentally and physically right when I get into fight. That's the main thing. No, you've never never drunk in your life, have you? Never tasted alcohol. You haven't, and I don't intend to either. Do you, you're not? You have no. no never. Are you not curious about it at all? Don't you? Uh, they say what you don't have, you don't miss, and I believe in that saying. You know, I've never had it, I don't miss it, and. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't... <laughs> Another thing, obviously, I've been brought up as a Muslim. Sure. And, uh, you know, my, my parents were quite strict, and um, it's, helped me, it's helped me with my boxing a lot. You know, it's, it's a way of life, and I'm sticking to I that. You'd be fighting everyone if you'd had a drink, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> You're controlling you. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not just... I'm not planning to... I'm going to leave that to you, but I've, obviously you've... You've done what you've had to do, and you're cool with it now. And I'm just so happy that you're you're getting on with your life in the best way, and you. you know. And I'm still not coming on, Mrs. Murray. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but you know, you're I did like the show, and I loved I loved the show when you're just taking the mick out of all them people. You know, That's, I just. <laughs> I used to switch on every time, so as you say, you're a fan of mine, I'm a fan of yours. Oh, blimey, can't <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh. Don't get too cosy. Um, you can leave now, no, Bob. No, no, no. Listen, I, don't tell, I left a long time ago, I see. Um, next fight? My next fight, I want to invite you to my next fight. I'm with you, Karen, I want you oh, to come yeah. and hopefully you, you can come. Cool. A couple, I mean. Uh, I'll just be trolling down uh, the road I'll be fighting. Friends. I'll be fighting in April. And I think it may be in London or Manchester. No, you young man called Ingle, is it? I'll, believe it or not, he's refused to take the fight. Has he? And I've been very, very surprised. I mean, all the mouth he gave, and I'm very disappointed in the guy. I mean, the, I'm, I'm the featherweight, out of all the featherweights, that puts the purses on the line that they get the biggest amount of money fighting me. Now, I just can't believe that this man, because he may not get another chance, is not fighting me. <laughs> For, obviously, he knows he's going to get beat. I know that already, but... <laughs> but um, I'm, in a, I'm in a wicked way, in a great way. But saying that, he's going to get the biggest purse of his life, and he doesn't want to... He didn't want to take it. So, sure. so, so who's, who's it going to be? Do we know yet? We aren't named. We aren't selected an opponent, but I can guarantee he's going to get took out. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get that show before it, trust me. Aren't you... What are you going to do when you do lose? Because, I mean... I know, I'm mean, glad. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, you, you are going to... Yeah, but, right, I, mean, I know you, you've been not just lucky, you're brilliant, but you have won every fight, haven't you? But you I've are. had 31 now, and I've won 31. Thank God. You know, mm. I, I thank God for the position that I'm in, you know, because, as I say, I do believe that everything is written for me, and I just thank God for the position I'm in to, to secure the whole of my family and, and lead me mm. in the right way. But if I did lose, which I never talk about losing, I can't visualise myself getting beat, as I always say, but... I just train really, really hard and make sure I'd box him straight after and beat him. Hey. <laughs> what's it been, what's it been like being interviewed beat? by two people? <laughs> <laughs> it's wicked. Sorry about that. Wicked I'm gonna, it, 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 she's distracting me a little bit. Thanks, Carol. She's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Australia. Nassim Hamad, thank you very much indeed for the moment. Thanks, Carol.